good morning on day 58 of Holly's Appalachian Trail Adventure. We are into our hike by a mile or two and heading 10.5 miles into town. Another hotel stay. I think we're starting to diamond blaze. Good morning, good morning. So all things being said, this section of trail is probably the best we've seen of Vermont. It's still muddy, but it's definitely drying out some. And not nearly as bad as it has been. Plus, it's a bright and sunny day. So all things are looking up until this afternoon's forecast. And we won't go there right now. We've got a bit of a dirt road walk, which is a surprise. I didn't know this was coming, but it's actually a huge relief. You can stretch out your legs a little bit and actually walk at a nice pace. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> so it's appreciated. This is the view from Prospect Rock. I believe that's Manchester Center that it's overlooking. Beautiful. So for today's lunch, I have got butter with turkey sausage sticks. And I found that if you buy the Kerrygold two pack of butter, keep it in the box, it stays pretty in pretty good shape. If you get the um, butter that's just in the foil, it makes a mess. Um, so I do recommend keeping it in the, the cardboard box. Also having some cheese sticks and pecans and Libby's chocolate chips. And that's lunch. Now if you can see the cliffs back there. Rocks. Because I'm all about a pretty stream. This one goes down the rock. Very pretty. Oh, I almost fell on the rock. Sadly, this is going to be our last waterfall of the day. But, happily, we are heading to town. Woohoo! And we're going to get our feet soaked here. Oh, look at this pot pool. Oh, <laughs> well, my short little legs fell into my waist. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Okay, your turn. Are here in Manchester Center. We are going to be going into the outfitter here and let me show you that. It's called the Mountain Goat Outdoor Clothing and Gear. And this is an adorable little touristy city. But we're going to be going into the um, outfitter. I am due for some new shoes. 
So I'm gonna be looking for shoes, possibly a new bear bag, or a food bag, because mine has been sewn and is still falling apart, so. All right. So, I did a thing. I went back to Hoka's, but this time I got them in a wide. So I love, love, love my ultra still, but I'm only concerned about my baby toe right here. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, but the heel support, I just need it. Um, also, I got a new bag for my food, because mine, I've sewn it and it's still falling apart, so. A new food bag and it's a tiny bit bigger. Um, that should accommodate the jerky that my sister is sending to me. And then I got some electrolytes. Alright, so I did not show you what I got for resupply, but I ended up with, this is the first time I've done this, dried beef. So I'm just taking that out, putting it in a Ziploc bag. Um, I have more butter in the fridge downstairs, cream cheese, cheese sticks. My sister sent me jerky, so I've got a little bit of jerky left. I will add the new jerky to that. Um, I have a peanut butter left over, some mixed nuts, trail mix kind of stuff. I have two pulled forks in this little zip-up bag. So I have two of those uh, and a chicken. And then I also got these little mini pepperonis. I have some bars because I do good with those in the morning. They're low, low sugar ones and lower carb. And then I have one treat. It's a Luna bar. Lemon. It's one of my favorites. Uh, for dinner tonight, I am going to do some corn chips with hamburger meat. I bought a pound of hamburger. I'll cook that up, add some taco seasoning and avocado to that. So that's my dinner for tonight. And the rest of it is for a trail starting again tomorrow. So we are at the Green Mountain House on the Appalachian Trail. And it's amazing. <laughs> Clean. This is the hiker kitchen. This is available to you and me. They offer free pancake mix. They also have these things free. They're cereal, seasonings syrup, um, coffee, and then the fridge is available. They also have, they also have a supply of, um, hiker friendly foods that, uh, I will show you in a minute. Right now I am just cooking up some, I'm cooking up some burger for my dinner. And when I'm done with that, I'll show you a little bit more around the house. And they have a whole freezer full of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. They let hikers get the first pint for $1 and then $4 afterwards. So that's on desserts. So the mountains up yonder, we have already hiked. Oh, that mountain back there. And... around and down. It's still raining, so I'm not going to go out and see the horses, but those are friends' horses of the hostel owner. These are some of the shoes that hikers have left behind, and I think my ultras are going to go on there. I was going to carry them just in case these hokas did not work for me, but they seem to, I've been wearing them all day since I bought them and they seem to be pretty darn nice. So we shall see. So they started this hostel in 2008. And these are some of the thank yous that they've received over the years. And this is the upstairs. And you come up here. A little bunk room here. And a bathroom around the corner that's available for all hikers. And they have another room here. 
two bunks and a twin and then laundry facility wash your own and another bathroom and then our room is here we've got two twin beds there we go oops my finger sorry all right i am going to add my shoes to the collection here and let's see let's find by these ultras right here there we go bye bye ultras i do love you So if you are in Manchester City, I definitely recommend Green Mountain House Hostel. And this is where you would stay. Mushroom and Pink Hot Dog from Playground Earth TV recommended it last year and it is my fave so far, just gotta say. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Matthew 7, 12. For those of you who might like to dig a little bit deeper and get to know me a little bit more, I've designed a membership called Campfire Calls. It's a donation-based membership. You simply click in the link in the comment section or in the description of this video, and you will get to join me around 8 to 10 campfires along the Appalachian Trail as I journey from Harpers Ferry to Katahdin in Maine, and then back from Harpers Ferry to Georgia. And you'll just get to be able to connect with me on a Zoom call.